On this college campus in rural Minnesota, have you pledged to vote? Democracy starts with a question. Have you pledged to vote? One that usually fetches. Have you pledged to vote? The same answer. Thank you. A lot of people have said yes, which is really cool. Sophie Smith is an election ambassador at St. Olaf College, a small liberal arts school 40 miles south of Minneapolis. Wow. Isn't that fancy? <laughs> I think it's so fun. A place where students like her help students like Corey register to vote. It's good to know that I'm all set on voting day, so it's a little weight off my chest for sure. The school trains 120 nonpartisan election ambassadors and they're everywhere even in the classroom answering questions after all many students are first-time voters some of them living in a new state I thought I registered to vote in Massachusetts but then I think I also did in Minnesota and now I just want to make sure that I'm not like committing voter fraud <laughs> as long as you only vote in one place only vote in one place yes then you are not not committing voter fraud yeah. Good question, though. Very important. Yeah. We sat down with four ambassadors, Elijah, Madeline, Sophie, and Roxy. I was able to help some people, and I was like, okay, I want to do that again. The nonpartisan part of this is important, right? It's huge. Why is that? Making sure that everyone's voice is heard is the most important part, no matter what party or you, no party you support. Their approach is working. In 2020, St. Olaf's turnout was nearly 88%, earning the school trophies for best in state and nation. Key to their success, peer-to-peer -peer connections using networks that already exist. For example, I'm in a band that has 100 people in it, and so I get up every year that there's an election, and I stand up in front of everyone, and I say, hi, you all know me. This is a very cool thing that's happening where we encourage voter turnout. We saw it firsthand with Jessica Olson, a first-time voter. Those are my friends from dance, and so when I saw them, I was like, oh yeah, of course I'll do this. You see, Minnesota led the nation in overall voter turnout the last three presidential elections. Experts point to the laws, including same-day voter registration and early voting, policies often missing from states with lower turnout. We believe that when it comes to young people and voting, we don't actually have an apathy problem. We have an access problem. While St. Olaf is proud to be best in the nation, these Midwestern nice students here would rather share that honor. Have you pledged to vote? With every other Have you school. To vote? Yay! Thank you. Now, researchers at the Tisch College of Civic Life at Tufts University say the states that make it easiest for young people to vote are Minnesota, along with Michigan, Illinois, Virginia, and California. They also note over the past two years, five states have passed stricter voter ID laws, which experts note can make it tougher for college students to vote. One of those states is Ohio. I spoke with a rep who does these nonpartisan mm -hmm. efforts at Ohio State. They say they're doing their best to just get the word out, let students know you need to be ready, either have that ID or vote absentee in your home state. But they want to make sure these young people are educated. But it's not an apathy problem. If you make it easy for people, it turns out they actually will do it. And it just felt like such a healthy discourse to be talking yeah. about this process in such a toxic time. Yeah. This was like a very real conversation about your right to vote. Yeah. Exactly. Very calm, very positive. We exactly. like it. Those are good vibes no, going in. We like it. We like <laughs> that. It. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.